Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and checking these videos out from us. Uh, also, you can follow me on social media if you like the content on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, also, give me a quick like and subscribe. It helps these videos reach a broader audience and it can help a lot more people. It's free, it's easy to do, but it really helps me out and I really appreciate that. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one. Hey everybody, welcome back to the store and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a walkthrough video. I've uh, been doing a lot of shorts with fishing and things like that. And I've been really busy here at the store. So it's kind of, you know, I haven't really been able to get as much out as I used to. But today, a little bit of a slower day. I got a few minutes and I wanted to go over a boat that I haven't uh, done a video on yet. And it is the New Canoe Flint. So the Flint is one of my favorite boats in the new canoe lineup because I love to be on rivers. I love to be on creeks. Um, it's also really good for large bodies of water, large lakes. But I feel like that's really where the Frontier and the Unlimited really shine. But getting out on the rivers, catching some smallmouth bass, uh, you know, trout, anything like that. This is a phenomenal boat for that. It's one of the best paddling boats in the lineup. Uh, in my opinion, the fastest paddling boat in the new canoe lineup would probably be the Pursuit, but that's a much longer boat. Uh, this one here is going to be a little bit easier for you if you're just looking for that throw-and-go kayak. It still has that phenomenal new canoe warranty, free parts for life. Again, you register your kayak on their website. If you ever need to order parts, they give you a coupon code for 100% off. You just pay the shipping, which is normally postal service. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, the Flint here that you see is in the Tundra color, which is a phenomenal color. Uh, that was the color of the Unlimited that I had. It's got kind of that olive green, white, and black blend with the olive track padding on it. Uh, the, the Flint comes in at $11.99 this year. It is 11 feet, 3 inches long, and 33 inches wide. It weighs 69 pounds, and you got a weight capacity of 425 pounds. New Canoe's weight capacities are a true weight capacity, so that is paddler plus gear. The boat weight does not factor into that. And New Canoe also sells a gear pod. So the gear pod that goes on the Unlimited also fits the Flint, so keep that in mind. It's the same exact part. Um, they sell the carry cart, which plugs into that little hole you see right there in the transom. Uh, it does have the same seat that the Unlimited and the Frontier have, but it does not swivel. You can buy the adapter to make it swivel, but keep in mind you are raising the seat height up, and that will affect your stability. So if you're looking for stability in this, you may want to consider keeping that seat the same, but just know that you can upgrade it to swivel if you want to. Uh, one thing that I'm a big fan of with this particular kayak is, again, that ability to trim your boat. So moving that seat forward and backward, that's not just for short and tall paddlers. That changes the mechanics of how your boat handles on different kinds of water. If you're on moving water, you may want it all the way back. It brings the front up a little bit, and it'll allow your boat to handle a little bit more loose. So with your right and your left paddle stroke, it's going to allow you to turn it a little quicker and kind of hold that line a little, a little easier if you're on that moving water. If you're on calm flat water or a slow moving river, though, having it more toward the middle, it's going to help it track really nicely. And this is one of the best tracking boats that we sell, in my opinion, because, again, that just means when you're paddling it, you get up to speed. When you stop, it's not going to want to pull one side or the other. It's going to hold that straight line really nicely. Um, your side handles, just like the Unlimited, will double as your paddle holders. You can see here, your paddle just slips right into there and it locks into place. You've also got that recessed area on the side to help hold that paddle a little bit easier. Uh, you can see the gear track up here and on the floor. This is really good if you got like a depth finder you want to run and you do have that transducer scupper underneath it uh, with that recessed area. And it's really long underneath there as well, so I'll show you that. That's really good for those of you that are looking at running like side scan. It's where you've got that longer kind of slender uh, transducer. It will fit underneath this. Uh, you've got your tackle storage here. These will hold up to about a 3,600, maybe 3,700 tackle box. Um, again, two tackle boxes for river and creek is going to be adequate. You've also got your, uh, your catch board, your hog trough holder here. So if you're doing any kind of tournament fishing, it's set up for that as well to hold that in really nicely. 
you've also got a nice tank wall back here with gear track to hold it down. Uh, your 13 by 13 Black Pack Pro will fit really nicely in here. You've also got four flush mount rod holders back here. Uh, this will kind of kick your rods back at about a 45 degree angle. But like most new canoes, you do have your tip protectors built into here. So if you want to run your rods along the side gunnels, you can do that if you want a lower profile look, especially going on rivers and creeks where you're worried about snagging your, your rod tips on tree branches. Uh, they, again, they do. you can do the pivot drive, pedal drive system on this. Uh, it's got the little threaded insert you see here on the side. That is your steering handle if you're ever curious about what those are on new canoe. And you do have the flat transom. So your pedal drive mechanism is on the back, which is very unique to kayaking because most of your pedal drives will sit, your prop will be down in the middle. Pro propelling your kayak with pedal drive from the back makes a bigger kayak a lot more manageable. And it also, it, it kind of doubles as your pedal drive prop and your rudder. So it is also steering you as well instead of needing a pedal drive with your steering. So it kind of does double duty on that. Uh, as far as accessories go, again, you have a seat height kit that they sell on this. They do have the bow mount uh, anchor wizard plate you could put on the front of here if you wanted to run your anchor off the front. Um, but guys, really great kayak here. Again, one of my favorites because of how easy it is to paddle. I'm kind of a paddle guy, so I, I, like, to, I like to be on rivers and creeks. There's the bottom of the kayak, so it kind of give you a good view of how this really performs. Really sharp keel. You do have some stability kind of built into the bottom here, but it's a little rounded, so you're going to be a, what I'd call a looser primary stability, and you're going to have some secondary stability built in there as well. So that's going to allow you to kind of lean into it. It's going to allow you to control that boat in choppy water instead of the boat controlling you, if that makes sense. And then here's your transducer, your recessed area there. So this is going to hold those longer transducers, and they sell a retracting kit. So it's a cord, basically, and a cleat that you can, you know, lower your transducer and retract it back up to protect it but it'll allow you the ability to run your side scan. You know, those of you running like a, a low Rance Hook 7 series with that triple shot, you're gonna be able to run that on this kayak if you're on big open water. And if you're on creeks and rivers, keep it, keep it retracted up just in case uh, you need it. But, you know, most people are not gonna run depth finders on, you know, shallow creeks and rivers anyway, but you do have the option to do that if you, if you want to. But guys, if you have any questions on this, let me know down in the comments below. If you have experience on this boat, again, let us know. It can help somebody that's looking uh, looking at this video that it may have questions. It's always good to have different people with different experience with these kayaks kind of voice that, what they like, what they don't like about it. It can really help somebody make that buying decision a lot easier if they're looking at this kayak. And as always, I'm available down in the comments. I try to answer all of my questions in a really timely manner. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to help out. You can reach out to me as well through the channel. My email address is on there. It's thebeardedpaddler at gmail.com. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll sometimes post some stuff on there that I don't have on the YouTube channel. But without further ado, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm glad you're enjoying these videos, and we'll see you on the next one.